Hey kids, here is our lesson today. I can add two digit numbers. I can make columns to make it easier. So what does that mean, columns? Let's find out. I can rewrite my addition problems in a vertical way called columns. If I look at this addition problem, it is placed in a horizontal way across my page. It has two two-digit numbers in it, as 25 plus 12 equals. I have a plus symbol knowing that I'm adding. I have an equal symbol showing that I need to find the sum. 25 has two tens and five ones. 12 has one ten and two ones. So if I want to rewrite it in an up and down or vertical way to help myself add, I have to make sure that my tens go where the tens need to be in the tens part of the house and my ones go in the ones part of the house. So I have 25. I put two tens here and five ones here, and then I look at 12. I see that there's one 10 and two ones, so I put my one in the tens column and my two in the ones column. I have stacked them up, so the ones are stacked in the ones place and the tens are stacked in the tens place. Let's rewrite again for practice. I can write my ones and tens in columns. Columns are up and down addition or subtraction sentences. And in this case, of course, it's addition. So my problem is 42 plus 14. So I'm going to rewrite this problem in an up and down ver vertical way called columns. Here's my addition symbol. I know that I'm adding. And in this, this fancy line that goes underneath my tens and ones is the equal sign. So let's see, I've written four tens here and two ones here. And then I've taken 14, I know 14 has one 10 and four ones. So I've decided that to solve this problem, I'm going to use objects today. So here are my tens and ones. Remember at home, you can use pencils and pennies or whatever helps you add. So we need to make sure that we add our ones first. Let's read the directions. Now I can build tens and ones with objects or use my brain to add. I can count my ones and write them and count my tens and write them. Okay, so we've built our tens and ones here. Let's count our ones first. We have to add those first. One, two, three, four, five, six. In all, I have six ones. So I'm going to write that. Now notice how my ones are stacked on top of each other. So I want to make sure that my sum is written right underneath there. Good, so I have six ones and I've written that in the ones column. One, two, three, four, five. I have five groups of 10, which you guys know equals 50. So let me read my sum, my problem. I wrote 42 plus 14 and I found the sum is 56. I want to count my objects to make sure that's correct. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Sure enough, it's 56. Okay guys, let's rewrite. I can write my ones and tens in columns. Now I can build my tens and ones with objects or use my brain to add. So I have taken my two digit addition sentence, 36 plus 22, and I have rewritten it with the ones in the ones column and the tens in the tens column. Here are my numbers, here's my addition symbol, and here is the equal sign, which goes right under the tens and ones. So I've rewritten three tens in the tens place and six ones in the one place, I put two tens over here in the tens place and two ones over here. Now I've gotten my objects all organized. I need to count my ones first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight ones. I'm going to write that as neatly as I can in the ones column. Let's check our tens. One, two, three, four, five. I have five groups of 10, which equals 50. Let's see if we can count the tens and ones to check and see if our answer is correct. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, stop. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. 36 plus 22 equals 58. And I used columns 
to help myself add. I also used objects to help count. Now we know how to add two digit numbers by rewriting our problems in columns by stacking our ones and stacking our tens and then adding.